Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. And I'm laughing because this is literally like take four of this morning's video. We either had a noise issue or we had a freezing video issue. So I think it's just going to be one of those days. Um, happy Tuesday y'all. Happy Tuesday. And the first thing I wanted to do was share with you some of the 12 by 12 cut aparts I got for the Racks of Love. If you've been following me on what I've been putting together, I've been making people things. And then one of the gifts I've been including in the teeny little Racks of Love are a sheet of 12 by 12 cut aparts that I cut down into a little package. So Cherry on Top and Crafters Direct had cut aparts marked down at really great pricing. Cherry on Top in particular, but as you know, it's a tight budget right now and you have to meet certain shipping requirements. So is it really worth it? Is it not worth it? Cherry on Top really did mark some of these down enough that it became worth it even to pay for the shipping. Um, it's just a really nice way because I think people can use these to make green cards. They can use them to make tag flips. They can use them to make pocket letters. They're super versatile without investing in a whole pad. And now having done this as for Racks of Love, I think um, unless I completely love an entire collection, I am going to start ordering more cut aparts. Because now, I, you know, I've seen the versatility of these sheets that I'm sending out to people and I'm realizing like how amazing they can be. In terms of our making without having to spend like a lot of money so i've kind of fallen in love uh, you guys all saw this collection i think on susan tootsie tucker's channel at least that's where i think i learned about it from hey susan and this is authentique's love notes and it's super vintage inspired super cute um this one is actually going out to her bestie miss linda poopas and dupas um so that's who i got that one for and that's going in part of her rack of love because she asked for Valentine's Day inspired pieces. And then this is Authentiques. I think this is called Ingredient 11. And this is sort of a country style kitchen, baking inspired, let's get baking. It's super cute. I love the colors. They're very summery, very vintage inspired again. Lovely. You know, it's funny because I say I don't like Authentique as much as I like Stamperia or Graphic 45. And I'll tell you folks, almost all the cut apart sheets I ordered were from Authentique. What I've learned is that I like specific collections from Authentique. Um, so I got this, this is actually a repeat because I had gotten some of this for my swap with Carmen. And so I decided that it was so beautiful. This would be a great thing to give somebody. I think the images are as beautiful as what's written. You know, I'm not a one of a million kind of girl. I'm a once in a lifetime kind of woman. It's very inspiring. The images are gorgeous. Let me just show you. It's just a beautiful set of cut aparts. Um, really, really, really beautiful. And the next one I think is fantastic for pocket letters. And I'm going to explain why. This is Authentique's Endless Night Collection. So you have like, again, these are all like very old school kind of Himmel figurines. I don't know if you guys know what a Himmel figurine is. Well, my mom has them. And that's what the sort of style of this collection. Um, I ordered two separate ones of these because this is the front side, folks, but look at the back. That's where all the expressions are. And it says things like, if you're not barefoot, then you're overdressed. I thought these were amazing for pocket letters. Like, wouldn't this make a fantastic pocket letter? So that's why I got that sheet. And then I'll show you the other one, which is also from that same series, I believe. Forgive me, folks. I had this all organized, and then when I had to do the redo, ah, uh, yes, here we go. No, the other one is actually from um, an authentic collection called April uh, Calendar, and I've decided this might be my favorite authentic. The paper quality on this is different than the others, folks. The paper quality on this collection is amazing. It's creamy. It's thick. It's as good as like minte. The others are not as good paper quality. But the, this one's fantastic. And look at this Shirley Temple image. This is clearly April for um, for Easter. Super adorable. And then this is what the back looks like. So I think this is basically calendar features like a different holiday every month. It's a beautiful paper pad. Absolutely beautiful. And then last but not least, I just got one of these. I saw Cruz haul this uh, when she, a long time ago in her Tuesday morning haul. This is Poise from Authentique. And clearly it's very yellow and that's why Cruz loved it. But it's actually really beautiful and glamorous. Um, so I really liked it when Cruz hauled it. And so I got the cut of parts for somebody. So that's it, folks. I just thought I would share them with you because, you know, I'm doing the racks of love. And so I had to think about 
how to get cut aparts, what kind of cut aparts, and to make them special for everybody who would be receiving them. But I thought these were fantastic. And I do think they're an inexpensive way to build out your paper collection without having to make a huge investment and still be able to yield so many projects like tag flips and pocket letters and all of that. So anyway, I hope that was useful for you. Plus you got to see a bunch of collections that maybe you've never seen before. Uh, I am going to come back today and do some happy mail. I'm so sorry I didn't do it last night. I really wanted to. I got home too late and I was too exhausted. It was a longer transit day yesterday and I think it's just because it was raining here in New York for two days and people were fed up so more people rode the subway. So we had delays and then we had like I was pressed up against people the whole ride home and by the time I stumbled in I was so pooped I didn't even watch videos folks. I literally crashed with my husband on the sofa and just watched TV and vegged out completely. So happy to be a little more rested this morning and back have a whole bunch of work to do both for work work and at home so I'm going to get through that and then I will come back on later today on a break to bring you some happy mail and to catch up on your videos while I'm doing a lot of the work. I hope whatever you do today it gives you tons of joy. See you later y'all. Bye for now.